one it really, really, really concerns me is against my human rights. I think it's discriminatory when you tell me that if I don't have a TA, I can get on the plane. Maybe the government will come with an amendment to that because that part of that, I, and I, I'm, for, I'm for discrimination all my life, Mr. Speaker, and I will continue to do that. And I, I, I'm one that cannot stand by and watch discrimination on anybody in this, in, at this stage in my life and at this stage in the life of all of us. Discrimination in any form is not right. We have to fix that. Again, and I say, you know, the government, I have praise for the government. Uh, our ratings as far as how we handle this and the, the total number of vaccinations is, is in the high, is the high ranking in the world. But this little piece about mandatory quarantine, I think we could fix that and do it better. We could do that part better. And the other part is, don't tell me or anyone that you cannot come home because you haven't booked up on a hotel coming back home. That's that's not correct. I, you, you you just cannot tell me that. I and I you know I I, I can't accept that. So while we all support and understand the precautions put in place, it has unintentionally caused discrimination that affects a sector of our community. Much has been made, Mr. Speaker, and myself as an MP, I have heard, the, I have gotten the calls, the messages, I've heard the cries of how this is affecting the community in Bermuda. And Mr. Speaker, again, I cannot, I cannot agree or support any discrimination, any form. And I urge that another solution or other options to be used so that we are not creating discrimination and to a wider intent or effect, Mr. Speaker, division, because it is, the, it is causing division in our community. COVID-19 pandemic in 2020 was based on taking the people along with us, explaining why we are doing what we are doing, how we are doing what we are doing, and what the next steps and what the next phases were. When that approach was taken, the people came with us. The people walked with us and they were comfortable with us. We have to get back to that. And when I look at how the some of the there is naturally will be resistance in quarters regardless. But I believe that the way that we have presented this to the public has amplified and heightened tensions and divisions and created fear and uncertainty that could have been prevented. And I think that this is a learnable experience for us. I'm not going to be very long, Mr. Speaker. The regulations are being meted out, or the legislation is being meted out, it um, operate uh, and treat members of the public differently. And so I would hope, as do others, that, there, that we can find that balance that would allow all of us to, to enjoy um, treatment from the legislation in the same way. I'll put it that way. Because when you have legislation, that says to a particular group, because they have not um, traveled down a road uh, that the government believes um, puts them in a state that makes them less likely to cause unintended consequences. They are being treated differently, meaning, as has been pointed out, they will find themselves um, if they were to travel and come back, being in mandatory quarantine for 14 days, uh, even if they test negative for that entire 14 days, 